This is our last part, part nine, signal capturing. In this part, I will cover multiplexer, digitalization, decimal binary conversion, DAC, and ADC. In DAC, I just introduced one type that is the most popular one, LADA network. In ADC part, where I will introduce two types, DURAM and uh, successive approximation. Here is a, a, a diagram as a typical data acquisition system. And in front, if you have uh, several channels or uh, sensors, have a pre-amplifier multiplexer, and then you have a common called the signal conditioning circuit, we just uh, discussed. And then you need um, a sample. So now in most uh, cases, those two components, sample and hold and ADC, now it become one device, uh, interface to a computer. Uh, the first one is a multiplexer. Multiplexer actually is a site of a switch used to select one from several analog signals. If we have several channels like V1, V2, and Vn, here is the switches. And then this side you connect together, that is your, your output. There are two types of switch. One is seamless, one is read relay. Seamless, these days <laughs> people use uh, fight seamless. I just uh, try to explain what it is. Field, effect, transistor, complementary metal oxide semiconductor. And, uh, I guess many people don't know what is a fight seamless. <laughs> That's uh, exactly the definition because it is a very, very long. Uh, people just know this is a fatosimus. With uh, this type of switch, you need to uh, make sure when you use this type of switch, you need to check the spec. There must have this uh, function called the break before make. Uh, what does this mean? Break before make. If you send the signal to those uh, switches, you ask uh, some switch uh, switch on, some switch uh, switch off. You need to make sure it's a switch off first, switch on second. That is called a break before make. Now, to ensure no short circuits. Um, this actually is a disadvantage, this attenuation due to uh, on resistance. That means uh, if you just uh, switch on this, this one, this voltage would be slightly smaller than the input as attenuation. Offset due to leakage. Uh, if I use uh, this uh, diagram, I can show you more. Uh, you look at uh, this equivalent uh, circuit, actually the real circuit is much more complicated than this. If you just uh, look at this uh, equivalent circuit, you can see so many components. We talk about uh, on resistor is here. You have uh, on resistor because of this uh, resistor, your output signal is slightly smaller than this signal. Offset due to leakage, you have a control signal there. You have a leakage through those resistors, those capacitors. Settling time because you involve a capacitor, uh, those capacitors will take time to uh, to uh, settle down. Cross talk is. Uh, you have uh, on resistance, off resistance. For each channel, you have those uh, two resistance. That means for each channel, <coughs> you cannot absolutely uh, isolate from each other. Uh, in this uh, diagram, R on is on uh, would cause a voltage drop. Already I talked about cause uh, attenuation. R off will cause leakage. As a, if you switch off, the signal would go through that uh, resistor, go there, 
So still you have a small percentage signal going through this switch. CSD, CSD, where is the CSD here? CSD would affect your settling time. That is a major effect. Actually other capacitors also affect. Uh, CSG, CDG, those uh, two would uh, cause uh, charge injection uh, from your control signal there. Yeah it would cause a charge injection. In uh, most uh, cases, people use a Siemens switch because uh, a race relay is a slow, expensive, uh, short, uh, short lifetime. However, for some applications, if you require very high accuracy, for example, if you work in NPL, the National Physical Lab, <coughs> the, uh, all their switches are Razor relay, that is uh, this type. Uh, Razor relay basically is a mechanical switch, but those uh, contact points is sealed, uh, sealed inside of a glass tube. This is a glass tube. Now outside you have a coil. Uh, outside you have a coil to make. Once you you can control. Uh, this uh, coil, you can inject the current to this coil so that this, those two points can be controlled. Some you can control, uh, switch on, switch off, switch on, switch off. Now, when we discuss uh, inductance, uh, we talk about um, um, yeah, uh, inductor, you can't uh, suddenly change the current. That's why you need, uh, need a diode in parallel with this uh, coil. Here is a summary, disadvantage or advantage um, for different switch. That is a RIS relay, here is a fat simmers. For on resistor, um, RIS relay is uh, very small, 0 0.1 ohm. For fat simmers is large, is 100 ohm, typically. Uh, off resistance, uh, Razor relay is uh, very large, you know, 10 giga ohm typically. Uh, Fed Simmons is uh, much smaller, it's a mega ohm. Through voltage, Razor relay can be very high, but with the Simmons, maximum is 15. Uh, charge injection with the Razor relay, you don't have such a problem. So, but with this, it's quite large, actually, it's a peak farad uh, <coughs> equivalent uh, capacitance. Crosstalk with uh, Razor Relay is a small, with uh, Fat Simmons is a large. Uh, all this side is advantage, and this side is a disadvantage. Uh, if we continue for speed, Razor Relay is uh, slow. You can imagine this is a mechanical switch. You need a certain time switch on, switch off. With uh, Simmons is high, micron second uh, order. L lifetime Razor Relay is short, uh, Simmons is long. Uh, diode with the Razor Relay, you need a diode. Uh, Simmons, you don't need a diode because here you don't have inductance involved. TTL control with the Razor Relay, you need a transistor to drive. Uh, normally, there is no TTL control. But with uh, Simmons, you can use a TTL control. That means between zero and five volt, you can control CMOS. Now, type of uh, binary code. Again, because of a time limit, I just uh, give you a basic idea. There are four different uh, types of uh, code. Unipolo, that means uh, only one polarity. Offside, that means you can move this uh, baseline to a different position, normally move to a middle. Tools complementary, that is uh, a code uh, used in computer. Binary coded decimal is not uh, common, but your LED display is based on binary coded uh, uh, decimal. So here I just introduce uh, this uh, very fundamental type is called the unipolar binary. I use uh, four bit as an example. 
this side is uh, one zero 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 zero. In decimal, this is one. Uh, here is one 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 one. In decimal, this is uh, fifteen. So how can we work out the value? We start uh, from this side. Here is a one 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 one, right? One 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 one. We start uh, from this side. This is a two zero. Uh, this uh, two power zero. This one is a two power one. Uh, that is two power two, two power three. So two power three is a h. Two power four. Uh, two power two is a four. Two power one is two, and two power zero is one. You add all those together. This is a fifteen. Uh, we leave for this uh, example later. How can we convert? decimal to binary. This is the opposite, uh, opposite way. We take this example. If we have uh, 148 in decimal, uh, how can we convert into, um, into a binary? Okay. We divide by two, you have a 74, zero left, right? And divide two again, there's 37, zero left. Divide two again, you can uh, have uh, 18, but you have uh, one left. Divide by two, this is a uh, nine, zero left. Divide by two, this uh, nine, divide by two, you, you can uh, have a uh, four, and you have a uh, one left. And divide by two again, this is a uh, two, zero left. Divide by two, this is a uh, one, zero left. And divide by two again, you can only have a zero, that is one left. Because of this side, you divide many times. So this is a MSB and that is a RSB. So if I write a horizontally, this is a one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. So that is a binary, um, binary code. Uh, decimal is a 148. Okay, stop here. Yeah.